So the emergence profile now is becoming an important parameter. We see also emerging evidence of uh, introducing to us basic concepts of how to design the emergence profile in order to have sustainable long-term outcomes. This uh, study, which is uh, very, very known lately from Katafuchi, has tried to identify emergence profile angles or emergence angles around uh, prosthesis on bone level and tissue level implants and correlate them with clinical outcomes in terms of perimplantitis. Now, uh, this has used uh, what we call a tangent line and that means a line which is uh, touching a curve at a given point and this when we have concave and convex profiles it's very subjective sometimes to define so might have been a bit of uh, discussion there but uh, when it comes to the bone level implants at least it was found that an emergence angle of more than 30 degrees combined with a convex profile correlates with perimplantitis significantly. So implants that actually had this wide emergence angle, especially when the profile was convex, were much more likely to develop perimplantitis in the future. That was now found for bone level implants. It was not found for tissue level implants. But when it comes to tissue level implants, the emergence profile was defined in this study starting from the platform, not from the bone crest. And this is a significant difference because I do believe that the supracrestal complex starts from the bone crest. And uh, when it comes to tissue level implants, we actually have the first couple of millimeters of our supracrestal complex and emergence profile as predetermined by the tissue color of the implant. Now, another important uh, thing coming out through the lines of this observation was actually the placement depth. So when it comes again to bone level implants, the placement depth correlated significantly with this angle. So when the implant was placed at a crestal level, the angle was much wider than when it was placed subcrestal. So what does this mean? That means that actually depth of placement is sometimes essential in order to create a favorable emergence profile and prevent perimplantitis. If you place the implant to shallow, you might actually predispose to perimplantitis much more than if you place it in the correct depth in order to facilitate the soft tissues. And again, I remind you of the example of a shallow placed implant and how difficult it is to create a sustainable emergence profile in this case. Now, what does it mean 30 degrees? To help you visualize what is 30 degrees angle, I can give you this picture here. So these yellow triangles represent an emerging angle of 30 degrees. Whatever falls within this yellow area is probably in the favorable size. Whatever comes outside, it might be predisposing to trouble. Can you have reconstructions that come outside? Yes, of course you can. It's very common, especially when we have abutments that come very close to the implant shoulder and are quite wide, too low, close to the bone crest. So this type of abutments might take your emergence profile already from the beginning outside this safety zone, when essentially what we want to design is a, an emergence profile which is more narrow stays within these yellow triangles and gradually flares up to the cervical margin. Now, this is one of the great things that I do like with uh, the newest line of implants in Strauman, the BLX. Most people will focus on the surgical aspects and how much it helps you gain primary stability and compromise bone. I would also emphasize on the prosthetic aspect, which is completely redesigned. So here we have temporary abutments which will come with different gingival height as opposed to the previous line where we only had one millimeter gingival height now it can go up to 2.5 millimeters in gingival height and also you can choose the final width of the platform you can have 3.8 or 4.5 so essentially already at the temporary abutment or the hilly abut healing abutment you can choose among four different designs so that can facilitate the structure of your emergence profile much better and much more individualized. I think this is the direction we should be moving, allowing individualization rather than locking into very specific uh, designs that might not be suitable for its case.